back with another video. Today we're going to be doing my makeup routine. Before I get this video started, I just want to say as a quick disclaimer, as many know if you, and you probably do know, the coronavirus is spreading around. It is spreading very very quickly. Currently in the US where I am it is considered a national emergency. I believe that every school is closed including my own. But basically most schools are closed and um, I just want to say that if you show any of the symptoms, which is like a common cold or the flu, definitely go get yourself tested. Try to avoid public places as often as you can to avoid catching it. Wash your hands, stay clean, sanitize, do everything you can to clean yourself. You don't want to catch the corona. I know it is more likely for elders to get it, but still that does not mean that you cannot get it. So I just wanted to leave a quick disclaimer to stay safe because obviously the corona is new. We don't really know too much about it and that's not very safe. Anyways, you're now going to hop into the video. So since I do this in the mornings, of course, I start by washing my face and moisturizing it. I have this little, oh, I just hit myself. I have this little like ring light kind of mirror thingy here that I use for lighting and my mirror to do my makeup, obviously. I'm sorry, I'd really like to excuse my chickens. They're being extra loud today. I know that you guys always comment about them, but if it were my choice, I would shut them up, but I really cannot control that, sadly. I start with this e.l.f. primer stick. You can wear this alone, but you can also like obviously put your makeup on after. I'm going to apply a thin layer all over my face. Of course, making sure my hands are clean, I then take my fingertips and you just want to rub this into your skin. Next, taking my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Beige. Small amount underneath each of my eyes. And then if I have any spots like this pimple, my chin have a small one on my forehead, a bit over each of the spots. Then taking this little beauty blender, I just dab it in and I blend it out. Now that all the concealer is blended out, I'm taking my Kylie Jenner bronzer. This is the shade Tequila Tan. Pretty and it's just like, it's quite natural. I just think that it's a really good shade. It works super well. It is on the pricey end. I think it was around $20 to $30, but it's definitely worth it because there's a good bit in here for how much I've used it. This is a lot left. I'm going to do my like cheekbones and my jaw kind of. You'll be able to see I can't really talk while doing this. And then I take just a little bit more and I do the sides of my nose. I don't really do this to make my nose look smaller because I know I have a huge nose no matter what. But it just adds all that little bit of tone to your face. Then I also just blend a tiny bit out into my hairline kind of around my forehead. After bronzing, I take the Airspun setting powder. This is the shade Honey Beige. I actually really like the setting powder. I just got it recently, but for the amount of times I've used it, it's worked pretty well. If I don't do like my full face, I do use the Tarte setting. Well, it's not really setting powder, but the Tarte powder to go with my concealer. This is also the shade Light Medium neutral but anyways i just take this setting powder and shake it out into the lid i then take my bigger beauty blender and kind of on the angled part i dip it in i do get my beauty blender a little bit damp it just helps pick it up better i'm packing it under my eyes the bridge of my nose cheekbone and jawline all amount on my chin and whatever is left over on the beauty blender i just put on my forehead while this sets in, I'm going to move to my eyebrows and I Taking one of these e.l.f. spoolies, I'm going to first brush through my eyebrows. And also my eyelashes. I actually just did my eyebrows, but usually I would like pluck them a little bit if there's any hairs. Because like I always say, I have quite thick eyebrows and they grow really, really quickly. So I have to do them like every morning and night. Then taking either my clear or tinted Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt Gel, the clear and 255 Soft Brown. I actually love these gels a lot and I think that they work awesome. It does act like a gel obviously to hold them in place, but the tinted ones just add a little bit of color if you have thinner eyebrows. My eyebrows aren't necessarily thin, but they're too thick to fill in. So the tint um, the tinted gel, I find it really convenient and it just works pretty well for me. 
Moving on to eyelashes, I'm going to first curl them with this little curler here. I don't know where this is from. My sister gave me it. I just hold it here for a few seconds, squeezing it as tight as I can, and then removing it. And you can see just the curling does a great deal for my eyelashes. If I'm being honest, um, my eyelashes like completely change my face because I have no eyelashes without mascara or curling them. So I just love doing my eyelashes and eyebrows at the least. I think it just honestly helps my face a lot. Then I'm taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. I used to never use primer on my eyelashes because I didn't really think it did too much. But then I bought the Voluminous Mascara and it came with the primer and I tried it and it works a lot. It actually holds my mascara up very well. Some weird issue where my eyes just water so much for no reason. And I usually rub my eyes and stuff because they get itchy from allergies as well. And the primer holds everything on, which is super shocking for how much I touch my eyes, um, which is kind of nasty. I do have four different mascaras here, but my main two are the L'Oreal and Glossier. I also have this Wet n Wild Mega Length in the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extensions. These two are really old, so they're thinner, so I, only, I don't really use them as often anymore. I first go with the L'Oreal Voluminous though and just apply a decent layer over the primer. When I apply my mascara, I kind of will go back and forth and also twist the spoolie a little bit. The L'Oreal mascara works so well and it's actually quite affordable too. Um, I believe I only paid about $10 for the mascara with the primer. Now taking the Glossier Lash Slick Mascara, I'm going to brush through and kind of like break out um, any of the clumps of the L'Oreal mascara. It also just separates my eyelashes a lot better. I'm going to do my bottom eyelashes just to kind of like add a little bit of color. I just go over them twice very quickly because I have really long bottom eyelashes as it is. Now that my eyelashes are done, we are taking the James Charles Morphe palette. I actually just got this because I'm starting to like James again. <laughs> palette is the mini one, but I wouldn't use the big one and i know people say this is a waste of money you might as well buy the big one but i don't really care giovanna also has this palette though and hers is good so i just got it because i knew it would work and it wouldn't be a waste of my money I had a bigger brush but i don't know where it went i do have this like kind of smaller one though it's just a tiny little fluffy brush i'm going in with this shade which is canvas it's just kind of like a very light nude and just going all over my eyelids with it as a base going in with this shade which is punch me and just kind of doing the outer bit of my eye i guess these two shades aren't super tinted but i like it that way because then i'm not like overdoing my makeup because i don't like having a lot of like stuff on my face I do my mascara first because if I do my mascara second, I end up getting it on my eyelid over my eyeshadow. And now that um, my eyes and eyebrows are done, I'm taking this huge powder brush and we are going to dust off all of the loose powder starting under my eyes. Just kind of sweep it off in the direction you apply it. Next, taking the Kylie blush in the shade we're going shopping. Some of it on, of course. And then I'm just going to smile and do my cheeks a little bit on my nose. So dab whatever is left over in the brush on my forehead and chin just to add a little color. Next up, taking the highlighter and ice me out. I'm going to highlight my kind of like cheek. I don't really know the parts of your face, but this little part, my nose, under my brows, my inner corners, a tiny bit on my forehead and a tiny bit on my chin. I'm just going to very lightly fan the highlight onto my cheeks. Taking this same smaller brush, I'm actually going to do a little bit more on like the tip of my nose. And now we're just going to highlight my inner corners. I really like highlighting my inner corners because it just kind of like, it brightens my face a little bit, you know? The last thing I'm going to do is take a chapstick, this is the Vanilla Latte, and apply that. Also because I then apply a lip gloss. This is just the e.l.f. lip lacquer, but I also have the Glossier Holographic Lip Gloss. I'm just using this one though because it's more chill and now that my face is all done i'm taking the elf mist setting spray and i'm just going to spritz it a few times on my face then taking my palette i just kind of fan my face dry so that's basically how i do my makeup recently did one of these videos in december during vlogmas 
However, I actually completely changed my routine since then because I got a lot of new makeup. Like I got actual good makeup. So that is all I have for you guys today. I was able to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. You can find my social medias in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.